Okay, so number one is Panenka, and this comes from a famous penalty in the 1976 European Championships by a player called Antonin Panenka. Antonin Panenka! Oh, it's genius! He played for Czechoslovakia and he scored his penalty in the final of the European Championships by chipping it down the middle. Just dinking it down the middle. Thinking it is a good word that Guardiola learned recently. Number two is Ballon d'Or. So this comes from an award that is given to footballers by a French magazine called L'Equipe. Players and journalists vote for the best player in that year and they are given the Ballon d'Or. In English this tra translates to golden ball, but we don't use this word, we say the Ballon d'Or. Okay, some tactics now. And number three is gegenpressing. And this comes from German and it means in, in English contrapressing or counterpressing. So when losing possession you try to get possession back as quickly as possible. The word gegenpressing was made famous by Barcelona teams and Jurgen Klopp teams recently. Tiki Taka. So this comes from Spanish and this means a fast, short passing style. Again, it was made famous by Barcelona and the Spanish football teams, particularly the Barcelona team of Pep Guardiola. And in English, it translates to touch, touch. But we don't say touch, touch in English. We would say one touch football or Tiki Taka. In English you sometimes hear people say catenaccio and this is an Italian term and it means a very defensive strategy. This word translates as door bolt, so to lock the door, so you don't give the opponents any chance to score. In English now many people say to park the bus. Number six is a position, libero, and this comes from the Italian word free. This was made famous by Franz Beckenbauer. I think he wanted more uh, freedom as a player. He wanted to play. He was a defender, but he wanted to be a creative playmaker too. So he is credited with inventing this position. In English, the libero... The, well, there are two types of liberos, I think. There is a defensive libero, and in English you can say this is a sweeper. Or like Franz Beckenbauer was a more attacking-minded libero. So he had the... He was a defender, but he had the freedom to go anywhere on the pitch. You don't see liberos so much nowadays, but a more modern position compared to the libero is the register. Regista, I think, maybe. This is an Italian word which translates as the director. So you direct the offensive play. In English, you can call this a deep-lying playmaker. And two famous players who play this role are Andre Pirlo and Sergio Busquets. Now for some words that describe skills or tricks. The first one is pirouette, which comes from France and it means to spin on the ball a la Zinedine Zidane. You can also describe this trick as la roulette. Next is rabona. So this is a Spanish word and it actually means to skip school or to play truant from school. And this comes from a famous player who's, who scored a Rabona goal in 1957, Ricardo Infante. I think he was Argentinian. And the headline was, the, in, the infant skip school. So this trick became known as the Rabona. We don't have a word for this in English. Not many English players do this type of trick. But Argentinian players are quite good at it. Angel Di Maria tries to do it a lot. Number 10 is Trivela. I think this word comes from Portuguese and I don't know what the translation is, I couldn't find it. But it, it's similar to the Rabona in that instead of kicking the ball with your weaker foot, you kick it with the outside of your foot. Lambretta. So this is a, an Italian term and this... I don't know why it is called the Lambretta, but in English you would call this the rainbow flick. This trick was immortalised in England in a 1981 film, Escape to Victory, when Ozzy Ardiles did the rainbow flick 
in the football match at the end of the film. It's a great film. There are some really famous football players and Sylvester Stallone is the American goalkeeper. Elastico is another trick and it, again it's from Spanish or Portuguese I think. In English you can say flip-flap. It has a long history and Rivellino, the famous old Brazilian player, is credited with the trick but it was made more famous recently mostly by Ronaldinho. La croqueta is a trick in which you roll the ball from one foot to the other foot very quickly to get past the player. It is the signature move of Iniesta. Messi sometimes does this move too. In English, la croqueta means the croquette, which is a potato-filled item of food with, wrapped in breadcrumbs. I don't know why. Number 14 is chapeau or sombrero. So this is a type of trick where you flick the ball over somebody's head and it's like a chapeau is a French word and it means hat. Sombrero is the Spanish word and it means hat. So when you're flicking the ball over somebody's head, it's like you are giving them a hat. Number 15 is ole. So in many cultures, ole means to put the ball through somebody's legs, which in English we say nutmeg or a variation of nutmeg like nuts or megs. But in football stadiums, fans sometimes cheer ole. And this is maybe when their team is dominating and they are passing the ball around and the other team cannot get the ball back. So the team starts shouting ole. Number 16 is Cruyff. So Johan Cruyff was the famous Netherlands player and he did a famous turn I think in the 1974 World Cup and lots of people were copying this and this was known as the Cruyff turn. So with all of these skills we use the verb do before them. So you do a Cruyff, you do a Penenka, you do an Elastico, you do a Trivella. Can you do a Rabona? So we use the verb do, or you try maybe, you try a Rabona, or you try a Trivella. So that is the verb that matches with these skills. Number 17 is the word rondo. So this is a Spanish word, and I think in English it means roundabout. So a rondo is used in coaching football. Players stand in a circle, and maybe there is one or two players in the middle, and they try to pass the ball around the players without the players in the middle getting it. It's very common now in coaching. Number 18 is la remontada, which is a Spanish word, and to be honest, it's not used much in English. I just really like this word. In English, it translates to the comeback. It was famously used in the Barcelona versus PSG comeback, and this match was called la remontada. 19. So in English, we sometimes use the original names for the national team. So for Italy, sometimes people say the Azzurri, which translates as the blue, or for the Brazilian national team, the Selecao, which is the name for the Brazilian national football team. 20 is also connected to the names of football teams. So in Italy, they also have a nickname for 
teams based on the colour of their kit. So for example, Juventus are Bianco Neri, AC Milano, Rosso Neri, um, Inter Milan or Nera Azzurri, I think so, which are the colours, so Bianco, white, Neri, black. So in English, you sometimes hear people describing these teams with, with this Italian name. That's it, 20 non-English words that are used in football. Maybe you know some more. I know in football manager they have names for positions, but in English we don't really use those names. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I made a mistake with my pronunciation of some of the terms. See you in the next video.